I was ordained on August 25th, 2007. Uh, my first call was with Lutheran Ministries in Higher Education. I did campus ministry for Queens College in Columbia, and then I came up here to Mount Kisco, and I've been here for 10 years. Um, I think the first memories that come to mind, or the, one of the first, is just the importance of um, two little girls to see women in ministry. And I had uh, just recently a very happy uh, moment when a little girl, I was doing a baptism and a little girl was visiting from a denomination that doesn't ordain women. And she came running out and gave me a giant hug. And the mom said that during the whole worship service, she'd been asking, um, where's the man who leads the service? And her mom said, well, no, this is the pastor. And she couldn't figure it out. And she kept saying, well, is she a man? And the mom kept saying, no, but here women can be pastors and excited the girl so much that she came out after worship and gave me a giant hug. And it made me feel so good to know that um, I can be that visual for little girls. I think um, I've been uh, the first woman everywhere I've gone in my internship and here. And I know in every place there were people who said they didn't want a woman. Um, and so you kind of just feel like you're always having to prove that women can do it. Um, I've been fortunate that people have still welcomed me and said, well, we'll give it a try. I know all my female colleagues have not been that lucky. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like I'm having to prove myself. I think for me that has been the biggest ch that and just um, being who I am, I think sometimes uh, being a woman in what has been traditionally a male profession, sometimes women think they have to become like men. Um, and I was even told that early on by some women, and I'm not that. <laughs> um, so just being able to be myself um, and claim authority, uh, that has been hard, having to claim authority with men who don't necessarily want to see a woman um, taking charge. <laughs> I want to thank all of the women who went before me and made this possible. Um, even though I've been the first woman in a lot of places, uh, there were women who paved the way. Um, so thank you to all of those women. For maybe the young generation of women and women in general, maybe thinking I'm becoming a pastor, but they're not sure because they think there are many challenges along the way. Uh, what would be your best advice, what they should do? Claim your authority and don't be afraid to just be who you are. You don't have to be anybody else than the person God made you. Uh, so be that person and bring all of the gifts that you bring as a woman um, and don't let uh, the sexism that is still rampant um, slow you down.